I started out building instruments initially for my own use uh, because uh, I, I was a musician uh, and I, was, I just became enchanted with the concept that people built these things. I started building instruments in my mother's garage. That would have been about 1976. Um, those were interesting experiments but not completely successful. When I finished my apprenticeship, um, I found that people were interested in the guitars I was building, but the local music stores had a real need for someone to deal with violins. There had been violin makers active, but uh, one moved to Sacramento, uh, one passed away, and the other retired, and so there was just this vacuum there. And I had done some violin restoration as part of my guitar making apprenticeship, so I kind of became what Contra Costa County needed. So when we're making electric violins, uh, you know, we really start off with a, a slab of wood that's, you know, six or eight feet long, and from that slab of wood, you know, that's a couple of inches thick, um, we'll, we'll cut a block, that, a kind of L-shaped block like this, and this will eventually become an electric violin, but it, it has a, a ways to go. Here's an instrument that I literally just finished assembling this morning. I like to build instruments that are pretty to look at and, you know, that, you know definitely the visual aesthetic and the material, the woods that we select and, and so forth is, is really important to me. But I, I think what's really more important is, you know, what people do with them, the, the lives they lead after they leave here.